Welcome to this week's tech tip, where we'll take a look at how we can use the update stock functionality to enhance visual feedback and to increase toolpath control. When an update stock command is added to the sequence list, the internal stock representation is updated to reflect the current state of the material based on the previous machining operations. This can be used to help visualize the material removal at any point of the machining process, which can be especially helpful for turning applications. The update stock command can be added to the sequence list by opening the miscellaneous drop-down menu on the machining tab and selecting update stock from the list. On the dialog, we can choose the size of the resulting stock model, where a larger model will have a greater level of detail. It's worth noting at this point that adding multiple large stock updates to the sequence will both increase the size of the part file as well as slow the software's performance so it's best to limit the update stock commands in a sequence to only those areas where it's critical for visualization or needed for accurate toolpath generation. After selecting OK in the dialog, we can see that a new update stock command has been added to the sequence list. Now that the stock has been updated, we can use the render stock command to toggle the rendering on and off. The update stock command is also a useful tool to help optimize toolpath creation by increasing the efficiency of the tool motion. Many of the toolpaths in SurfCam are what we would consider stock aware and allow you to use the most recently updated stock representation as the material definition in order to optimize the resulting path. Let's now take a look at a milling part to see how the update stock command can be used to define the material for subsequent machining operations. In this example, we'll add an update stock command after the initial roughing operation so that we can use it as a starting point for the secondary roughing path. If we hide the toolpath and use the render stock option, we can clearly see the areas that still need to be addressed with a secondary toolpath. We'll now create a new roughing operation using a smaller tool in order to clean up the areas with remaining stock. On the roughing dialog, we want to set the stock type to current stock so that the system will use the most recent stock update as the material definition for the new toolpath. With the toolpath now complete, we can see that it only addressed the areas where there was excess material to be removed, which greatly reduces the unnecessary tool motion. We'll now create one more update stock command so that we can see the results of our secondary roughing path. Finally, we can also select to launch simulation from the update stock command, which will start the simulation from the point that the command exists in the sequence list. As you can see from these brief examples, the update stock command can be a very useful tool to help visualize progress at specific points of the machining process, as well as helping to optimize subsequent machining operations by confining tool motion to only the areas with excess material. As always, we hope that you found this tech tip helpful and would like to encourage you to explore all of the available tech tips.